वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.41 सो स्टेटमेंट इज टू शॉफ्ट्स ईच ऑफ सेवन बाय एट इंच डायमीटर आर कनेक्टेड बाय गियर्स शोन नोइंग दैट जी इज 11.2 पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन पावर सिक्स पी एस आई एंड दैट शॉफ्ट एट ए इज फिक्स्ड एट एफ इज फिक्स्ड डिटरमाइन द एंगल थ्रू विच एंड ए रोटेट्स वेन वन पॉइंट फाइव इंच टॉर्क इज अप्लाइड एट ए so you can see this is one shaft this is another shaft there are gear b and d which are uh, which are connected with each other at this common point and torque t is applied at point a which is 1.2 kips into inch so what we have to find we have to find the theta a the angle through which and a rotates so let's start with the solution now you can see that uh, this torque is going to rotate this shaft clear and we know that torque is equal to force this is torque a in shaft ab which is equal to force fab into radius ab clear so due to this torque it will apply a force on another gear let this force is fab and you can see r b is given as 4.5 so from here you can get f a b will be equal to f a b will be equal to t a b over r a b let this is your equation number 1 similarly in response the gear uh, the gear this gear b is applying downward force and there will be upward force on gear a which will cause it to rotate it in counter clockwise and this force is f e d clear on gear d or f e you can say so we also know that torque e f is equal to force E F into radius R E, which is six inch R E. So from here, F E F is equal to T E F over R E. And this is equation number two. Since F A B is equal to F E D because at the point of contact between these two teeth clear the force will be same so this is will be equal to f so equate equate equation 1 and 2 we will get tab over rab is equal to tef over r e clear okay now what we will do we have tab which is given as torque this is 1.2 kips rb this is this is rb ab r rb this is re so we will find tef so tef will be equal to R E divided by R A B into T A P. Put the values. R E is six inch divided by R A B is four point five inch into twelve multiplied by thousand, and we will get T A T E F will be equal to sixteen hundred. pounds into inch i will write it over here tef torque in short ef is 1600 pounds into inch okay now it is also given that end of the shaft f ef is fixed so we will find the angle of twist in this ef shaft so i will write here twist in shaft twist in shaft 
E F which is theta E F is equal to T into L divided by G J clear so torque is 1600 length of this shaft is 12 inch 12 divided by G G is given for 11.2 into 10 to the power 6 11.2 into 10 to the power 6 and J for this shaft is pi by 2 into C power 4 and C is 7 by 6 16 because we have been given diameter diameter is C so C is equal to 7 by 8 multiplied by 1 over 2 which is equal to 7 by this is center this is radius 7 by 16 so when you calculate it you will get angle of twist of point E with respect to F will be equal to 29.789 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian or if you want to uh, okay so this is the it means that this point E will twist or rotate through this radian so rotation at E will be rotation at E will be equal to theta E is equal to theta angle of twist of point E with respect to F is 29.789 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian now if you want to convert this angle of it what does it mean it means that if this point e is this so its new position will be e dash and this is the angle of twist clear i will draw it over here so that you can easily understand so if this is the gear so this is point e clear so due to twist this is theta e so it will be e dash now we will convert tangential displacement at gear circle as this is theta e so if you want to convert this displacement into tangential dis displacement so we have formula s is equal to r theta clear so s is the displacement vertical displacement so from here we will get this we will write theta is equal to r e into theta e this is the radius r e clear so from here when you put the value of r e so R E into uh, R E into R B into T T B. So if this is this is one gear and that is in contact with another gear player, so this is R B E and this is R B there and that is angle of twist is theta. E. so this will cause it this teeth at this point to come downward so this displacement is tangential displacement and that is equal to r into theta e r it is equal to r b into theta b because both points are same and will move with the same distance so we will use this formula so i have r e theta e r b but we do not know the angle of twist in B, so we will get theta B is equal to R E divided by R B into theta E. So put the value R E is 6 and R B is 4.5 theta E, which we have calculated is 29.789 into 10 to the power minus 3. So you will get theta b will be equal to 39.718 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian. Now this means that this shaft will also twist through.
to this radian clear this radian now we will also find uh, the twisting effect in shaft a b so what we will do is that twist in shaft a b so twist in shaft a b is equal to a slash b which is equal to t into l divided by g j so torque is given in a b is given as 1.2 kips length of a b is 8 plus 6 14 so 12 into 10 raised to power 3 multiplied by 14 divided by g is given as 11.2 into 10 raised to power 6 and j for AB rod AB is pi by 2, 7 by 16 power 4. So when you calculate it, you will get angle of twist of point A with respect to B is equal to 26.065 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian. Now, total rotation at A which is equal to theta A will be equal to angle of twist of point A with respect to B plus angle of twist of rod shaft B due to tangential displacement. Let me show you one angle of, uh, angle of twist is theta B and one is in this shaft theta A slash B. So at this, we, at this theta A will be equal to sum of both these two angle of twist so you have both the value theta a will be equal to 39.718 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus 26.065 into 10 to the power minus 3 and when you add them it will give you 65.783 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian. And to convert it into degree 65.783 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 and 1 radian is equal to 180 degree divided by pi. So at the end you will get theta A will be equal to 3.77 degrees which is the answer of this question that and a rotates 3.77 degree and that was all about this problem 3.41 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also try some problems and practice them you will be able to learn thank you for watching